Welcome back to Cruelty Squad. We finished uh, checking out uh, the headquarters of our new employment and gone early investing into the stock market. These, uh, these veggie metoids, uh, the uh, Vegos metoids, I feel like they got a good future, you know? I don't see how anyone can possibly hate vegetarian meat. Or vegan meat, I should say. Yeah. I mean, certainly better than goo food. Those G-Tech bastards seem to think that they're going to be able to, like, dominate the food industry. Oh god, everything's zooming in! Largely because I feel this makes it marginally easier to tell what all is being shown in this briefing. <laughs> because readability is intentionally not the best. Yep, it does highlight if you mouse over the, the text box. But oh right, yeah, but that oh, that's well. that's only marginally more useful. Yeah, so we got to kill some big pharma execs. We're going in with the lethal stock weapons, our pistol and submachine gun, and we're playing this uh, this level and all subsequent levels of the main playthrough, with some exceptions, on punishment mode, hmm. which is an extra caveat I put on myself. That's probably not that <laughs> necessary. But, I mean, I would already played enough of this game prior to recording that I felt I was up for the challenge. I've no idea why this NPC is here. He's technically not supposed to. Mm. I end up talking to him a couple times before realizing that, uh... This game's very infrequent but random spawning of, like, enemies or NPCs from things that are not supposed to show up yet... ...was kind of seeping into this room, so after a little while I just back out. <laughs> Yeah, because, I like... Don't think I ever actually saw this guy. Um, mm. Granted, like, this game has so many esoteric secrets in it, I don't think... Like, I could play this game for a hundred hours and still never find everything. Or That's anything, true. for that matter. Yeah. And it's like... And, like, going back to, like, how I'm playing this, punishment mode, what it implies, you basically take twice the, uh, twice the damage. So which you can so you can survive two bullets instead of three, pretty much. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, going through this vent is important because we get a very important weapon that we can use for like the rest of this mission. This is a fantastic burst rifle with a scope. Yep, I it is used this for most of the game simply because same. I couldn't find any of the, the really good weapons until much later. Especially because of the lethal weapons you start with, the submachine gun is so trash. Like, it runs through its clip so quickly, and the accuracy and recoil is, like, very shoddy. Yeah. This, meanwhile, you can hang back, play it safe. The... It turns grayscale when you zoom in, so... Which means, like, for, for like, NPCs and enemies, they are contrasted very nicely against the background. And recoil is as minimal as can be when, like, firing three bullets, which shot to the head is more than enough to kill them. Because headshots are, like, some of the most godly in this that than has been in most other shooters in recent memory. Yeah. Um, I can't remember who it was, but uh, one reviewer was saying this is a game that respects the headshot. Like, that was Civvy. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I thought it was. Respecting the efficacy of headshots. Uh, yeah. Uh, you, you shoot someone in the head, they know about it, and they fall over and scream at loot. Yep. I made sure that dude was dead for good measure. Because, god damn it, I cannot abide by by these cryptocurrency bastards. <laughs> well, it's not the, like he was really human to begin with. Yeah, that 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 face is uh, not pleasant. <laughs> and in the game, but um, yeah, because yeah, that that's what crypto does to your brain, right there, everyone. <laughs> this is your brain on net on nefts. There, there was no guard railing there, dude. All right. You know, if OSHA existed, they'd probably be a little concerned. <laughs> they, 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 they would see that and then all collectively die of an aneurysm from all the safety violations <laughs> that the world has adopted. Any, uh, such as, for instance, toilets in this universe are a biological weapon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Clearing I mean, out the lobby, a very smart move to do from up here by <laughs> any means necessary. <laughs> As we're walking around with our security chemical weapon grenade launcher. 
a rocket launcher specifically, <laughs> which is you can only get in this uh, in this mission by passing through that door that requires you to have your quote divine light. Mm. Which, if you're playing this the first time, you will not have when you get there. In fact, you'll have it severed, most likely. <laughs> you will be in flesh automaton mode, but more on that later. Yeah, for the for this particular level, like. It, it took me quite a while to get, like, both the route and the recording I wanted for this particular mission, because it's like... Like... Keeping Divine Light means you cannot die when you start the game. So it took a lot of, like, save restarts to get what I wanted, because if I had died once and started the level again and tried to go back to that door, it would not open. Because, yeah. as you might notice, its texture very similar to the seemingly useless uh, HUD border that we have around the screen. That actually indicates what mode you are in, which is difficulty, and as it changes, depends on, like, basically how much damage you can sustain. Yep. You, you first see the, the HUD, and you think, quite rightly, this game is ugly as sin. Mm -hmm. And then, once you actually get into it properly, you're like, oh, wait, there's actually a lot of information here that's quite useful yeah no, not not completely meaningless at, at least you know true we're definitely taking our time here to uh explore the rest of the of the building before taking out our second target you know we got we got some we got some money to pick up we got some uh we got some back rooms not those back rooms although i would not be surprised if they fit very well in this universe Thank God, I I cannot, um, I definitely could not stand being terrorized for 14 hours by Beige Karka. Yeah. Like, the terror, the horror. That really is, like, the true terror of it. Not the fact that there might be monsters in there, God forbid. <laughs> God, God forbid anything interesting happen. Yeah. I, I just don't get the liminal spaces thing. Yes, it's creepy, but come on, like you're not milk-fed veal. Yeah. Like the back rooms with Cruelty Squad's texture. Now that would be legit fucking horrifying. Oh, that I mean, just this game with Cruelty Squad's texture is legit fucking horrifying. Like <laughs> you said, this game with Cruelty Squad. We're already in Cruelty Squad. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm saying. This game is terrifying to behold. Yeah. Oh, okay. I did not. I didn't know that was there. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, like, like this being the first real level, it does a pretty good job of, like, rewarding your exploration to realize just how, like, a lot of, like, the areas in the building link into each other. Mm. Like, where you can find certain vents that just, like, there's ultimately more than one way to get into this boardroom. Yeah. Because I dropped down through the, through the vent in the bathroom right here. Of which we are going to borrow another toilet. <laughs> I, I, I kind of, the second you started heading towards the bathroom, I was like, I know what's happening. Yep, yep. Yeah. <laughs> and, and also on top of that, there is another vent that leads, uh, like, actually leads directly into the conference room. But I found it to be especially risky in here because there's a lot of unarmed uh, NPCs, including the target. But there's also, you know, like, one armed dude in here, so if I were to just drop in and have no idea, like, how to discern the target and the hostile, and uh, like, guard at the same time, I would have died. In fact, that's why, like, I had to cut that from my initial route. Mm. Yeah, the, the game has a lot- I, I, I know that there's a lot of, essentially, unmarked doors, which you would never think to check. Um, yeah. Unless you either get so close to them that the, the hand texture pops up, or just dicking about with trial and error. Yeah. Fortunately, like, your crosshair changes into, like, a squiggly green hand when you, uh, uh, when it hovers over something, so that at least is a better indicator than something that's, like, some completely hidden pixel hunt shit. Uh, yeah, or just, you know, the, the, the cursor lights up, like, what's that meant to mean exactly? Yeah. Because because we got the hand over anything that can count as an interaction, like organs to pick up, guns to pick up, bodies to pick up and toss around. 
not the individual giblets. Well, like some of them, like torsos and heads. Those uh, those are those are free game to pick up and toss around. You can move around limbs, but that's well, doesn't really count, sort of. Well, that was really concerning, and I don't want to look any more into what no uh, what that room had as far as biological disasters. <laughs> Yeah, those things, they look like drowned women and explode into poo gas. It's, they, yeah, yeah, they look like a, a horrible deep fried version of, like, the midwives from System Shock 2. Yes, yes, exactly. But yeah, I lied, I am looking back through here because it's like, there, there, there were some horrible things in these glass cases that we do not want to get anywhere near us, and I... And doing the world a favor by killing them beforehand. <laughs> they technically get a more formal introduction in one of the later levels, but I might as well say it now. Those are flesh rats. They are everyone's most hated enemy in this game. Fuck flesh rats. Yeah, I... They, they, they tend to mostly be encountered in my experience in very dark areas, and they are roughly the size of about three pixels. Yeah, they're... Yep. They're, they're called flesh lot. rats even though they look more like worms, but have, like, a flesh color to them. And if they come into contact with you, uh, you get poisoned. Mm. And it's not just poison in the sense that you lose health over time. That does happen. You lose health over time, and your, uh, view starts to sway, which makes it very hard to shoot things from then on. Yeah, this is a game that one way or another wants to make you sick. Mm-hmm. This room, as you might imagine, that's the ground floor of where we got the rocket launcher, so it's not completely sealed off if you're not able to pass through that door, but you need other equipment with you that we clearly do not have at the start. Mm. Yeah, the, this is one of those games where the hardest point of the game will be the beginning, because you have no options, no good items, you have no idea where anything is, or even what it looks like in most cases. Yeah. Which is why, if you pay close attention to how I play this game for the first five missions, like, uh, a lot of the the struggles that you might have even after the fifth mission will go away very soon. And this is, uh, what, six, twelve, fourteen, sixteen base missions and a few extras. Yes. It's like, I, th I think it's like fifteen, uh, I don't know, it's a bit difficult, but, I don't know, this door, this door's bizarre, it repulses me, I have no idea why? It looks like a giant flesh lip on a board. Yeah, kind of weird. Wish it didn't remind me of my... Anyway. Um... <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. Uh, we received our punishment. Uh, we got through it. C rank because uh, whatever time we finish the, the mission in will, like qualifies the rank. Fortunately, like, enemies killed or civilians saved does not contribute to it. Thank God. <laughs> and, as an extra incentive for punishment mode, that $2,000 that we won for completing it, that's only because we were on punishment mode. It otherwise pays out 1000 mm. for the C rank. So, that's your, uh, so, like, that's, like, your first reward for why you would want to play this on punishment mode. The second reward... I am going to save until the end of the next video because you will see it very clearly in action. Mm. So yeah. look forward to that. <laughs>